lab two. So with lab two, you start off with the unadjusted trial balance, and then using the information on the next page, you do the required adjusting journal entries, okay? <clears throat> so I didn't print out the journal paper, so I'm just gonna write them down here below. All right, took an inventory off of supplies. There's $25 worth of supplies left, meaning that 75 was used and needs to be expensed. So if you look over here at the trial balance, you have office supplies with a $100 balance. You only have $25 left. So you have to take $75 out of here to get it down to the $25 that it needs to be. All right, so remember office supplies is an asset. You're decreasing the asset. So you're going to credit office supplies and transfer that over to supply expense. For the $75. All right, and B, you used up all the prepaid rent. All right, so come over here to the adjusted trial balance. Prepaid rent currently has 300 in it. It's all used up, so you have to decrease that asset. So you're gonna credit prepaid rent and transfer it to rent expense for the 300. All right, C, houses need one year of depreciation, which is $50. So the entry for depreciation is depreciation expense and an accumulated depreciation And I think there are separate accounts for the houses and the hotels. So I'm gonna put house. And then D is depreciation on the hotel. So it's the same entry, except it's just for the hotel. So depreciation expense. <clears throat> Excuse me. An accumulated depreciation for the hotel for 25. And Monopoly Core owes Waterworks $60, which we paid later. All right, so this is something that you need to accrue. So you need to accrue, um, oh, I skipped one, sorry. E, the note payable has accumulated interest, which is owed, but will not be paid until the note is paid off. The amount of interest owed to the bank is 150. So we need to accrue interest expense so you're gonna debit interest expense and credit interest payable, because you haven't paid it yet, for the 150. <clears throat> All right, then F is you owe Waterworks. So you're gonna accrue the utility expense and you're going to credit utility payable For the 60. All right, G, some guests stayed at your hotel for which they had previously paid $200 up front to reserve. <clears throat> All right, so when they paid you up front, you put that money down here in unearned revenue. Unearned revenue currently has a balance of 400. Remember, it's a liability, but you have earned 200 of it. So you need to debit the unearned and transfer it to rental revenue. So we're gonna debit unearned revenue. See that? <clears throat> and transfer it to rental revenue. And that was for 200. <clears throat> and then some renters left a Milwaukee Court house without paying and now owe $75 for rent. So we need to accrue that. They owe us some money, they haven't paid us yet. So that's an account receivable. And that is also going to be rent revenue. 475. Okay, now you need to post these entries to the T accounts. <clears throat> and I will do that in another video.